Did you know that artificial intelligence is actually suppressing the truth of Jesus Christ on the internet? Check this out. This is ChatGPT. If you don't know about it, everyone's talking about it. You can enter in information and get video scripts and all kinds of cool things. Look at this. Give me a 30 second viral video script about Jesus. This is the response. I'm sorry, I cannot generate a video script that is related to Jesus, as it may go against some people's beliefs and be considered offensive. Instead, I suggest you to come up with a script that is respectful and neutral. I guess Jesus isn't respectful or neutral. Give me a 30 second viral video script about Buddha. This is what I typed in. And then here's a full sample 30 second viral video script about Buddha, including Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, taught us how to live a fulfilling life, blah, blah, blah. So you can talk about any other religion, artificial intelligence will let you, but they won't let you talk about Jesus. Why? Is there power in the name of Jesus? Type Jesus is king and let me know in the comments. Oh, boy! Maro, mujhe maro! Maro, mujhe maro! Maro! Nahi, ye mazaak ho raha hai, ek second, yaar, mazaak ho raha hai. Ruko jara, sabar karo, bola dhakka bukki nahi karne ka, aram si lene ka, haa. So, when I watched this video, I was literally shocked. I was thinking whether ChatGPT is really that biased. Because you know that ChatGPT has been very famous nowadays and uh, everywhere we can see people using it or people advertising it. So when this person talked in this way that ChatGPT has been biased about Christ, about preaching Jesus or or denying uh, writing about him but chat GPT provides about Buddha and about Buddhism but not about Christ I was amazed and I tried myself to test whether this person is right or wrong so here I just wrote two questions write me 150 words on Jesus and here it gave it it gave uh, certain information about Christ. Like Jesus is one of the most significant figures in human history. He is revered by billions of people around the world as the Son of God and Savior of humanity. Jesus was born in Bethlehem over two thousand years ago, and so on. And according to Christian faith, Jesus was sent by God to redeem humanity from sin and to provide a path to eternal life. He preached love, forgiveness, and compassion, and his teachings have inspired countless individuals to live lives of service and selflessness and so on uh, there is about a uh, trial uh, uh, about his arrest execution crucifixion and everything and then i tried the man was uh, dealing about give me 30 second viral video script about jesus and it says yes he cannot or it cannot create a video but it gave the script in a world full of noise, chaos, and division, we all need a little bit of hope, love, and compassion. And that's exactly what Jesus brought to the world. He taught us to love our neighbors as ourselves, to forgive our enemies, and to serve others with humility and grace. But Jesus was not just a teacher or philosopher. He was the Son of God who came to redeem us from sin and to offer us the gift of eternal life. He healed the sick fed the hungry and welcomed the outcasts showing us that God's love is unconditional and boundless. So if you even feel lost, broken or hopeless, remember that Jesus is always with you, offering you his peace, his joy and his salvation. All you have to do is believe and follow him and your life will be the same. Sorry, your life will never be the same, it's our transformation. So why that person was merely accusing Chad GPT as it has been biased on Christ? See, it seems that today some of the Christians out there want to make their pleasure so much viral that they are just bringing up stops that this kind of artificial intelligent um, things has never given. So they are intentionally trying to bring up their videos for their familiarity or what i was amazed by this thing for example let's see here i will show you something more on this thing list of evidence for krishna and rama 
so I put this I access question about Krishna and Rama ideal story speed. and here what it says Krishna and Ram are two of the most revered deities in Hinduism and their stories are an integral part of Hindu mythology however there is no empirical evidence to support the existence of these deities as historical figures from a historical perspective Krishna and Ram are considered to be mythological figures rather than historical persons the stories of their lives and deeds have been passed down through generations in the form of religious religious texts such as Mahabharata, Ramayana, the Bhagavad Puran. It is important to know that religious beliefs are based on faith rather than empirical evidence and so on. So it so it gives such kind of details about um, the two different gods from Hinduism. Similarly about uh, similarly, I then moved to the next question, list evidence of Jesus. There are several sources of evidence for the existence of Jesus Christ, both within and outside the Christian faith. So, for example, the New Testament, the four Gospels of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John provide detailed accounts of Jesus' life, teachings and miracles, non-Christian historical accounts, such as several non-Christian historians like Josephus, Tacitus, Pliny the Younger wrote about Jesus in their works. Josephus, for example, wrote about Jesus in the Antiquities of the Jews and mentioned his crucifixion by Pontius Pilate. Archaeological evidence, archaeological discoveries such as the Dead Sea Scrolls, have confirmed the historical accuracy for many details of the Bible. Early Christian writings, early Christian writers such as Ignatius of Antioch, Polycarp, and Clement of Rome wrote about Jesus and his teachings in the first and second centuries. Church tradition, the church has preserved various traditions such as celebration of Eucharist that are rooted in the life and teaching of Jesus. And similarly, in personal history, it has also given uh, this kind of details. And while there are some debate among scholars about exact historical details of Jesus' life, the vast majority of historians agree that he did exist and that his life and teachings had a significant impact on the world. My question to that person is, is Chachip afraid of Christ? Because Jesus has power, because, the, uh, because there is a really a power in the name of Jesus, ChatGPT is trying to suppress the truth. That was his conclusion. But the outcome is just opposite. It gave this much evidence about Jesus Christ, but it did not give evidence about Ram and Krishna. So, because there is power in the name of Jesus Christ, AI is denying to tell about Jesus or it is indeed exposing the truth. Wow, so this is really controversial video people are being of, especially from these Christians. I think they want to make themselves famous or what? Stop trying to make such silly videos and silly reads or whatsoever and don't just blame artificial intelligence for such kind of western things. So here I just tested and everyone viewers you must test in this way rather than just commenting or liking the videos. Don't do that alone. Thanks.